everyone welcome back to my channel so i decided to book a very spontaneous last minute holiday last week i booked the flights and tomorrow i'm leaving and i'm going to cyprus i have never been to cyprus before so it'll be a new country for me and we are staying in lissamore so i need to pack um if you can see underneath me <laughs> I've made piles and I've kind of planned what I want to bring. I just need to make a few final decisions. So my flight is Friday evening and then we arrive quite late on Friday night. We're staying three nights, um, but realistically we only have like two full days, Saturday and Sunday, and then I leave on Monday morning. So I don't actually need much. Am I gonna bring a lot? Yes, but I don't need to. <laughs> so the first pile is actually gym clothes because there's a gym at the hotel, so we thought we would just squeeze in a quick workout in the morning, feel like ready to go, energised for the rest of the day. So I'm just going to bring two separate workout outfits. I probably could just bring one, and I feel like if I don't have enough space, I will just get rid of one. But I've planned to take two, so we'll see. And I want as less to pack as possible, so I've actually gone with just shorts and a sports bra. So the first pair of shorts, these are actually new. I'm about to do a Gymshark haul, so there's a little teaser. Um, this is like the back, this is the front, um, they like ruch up. So I'm going to bring these black shorts and then a Gymshark sports bra in white and then it has like the black detailing so it goes nicely. So that's one outfit, so that's like Saturday morning's workout. And then the second one is actually from Able, I think it's pronounced Able, like this, there you go. I have never had anything from Able before, but... Oh my goodness, I absolutely adore these shorts. Like they roosh in all the right places. Um, so I just feel very confident when I wear them. So this and then the matching sports bra, done. I mean, they don't take up too much space. And I could always put like, these shorts could like go over a bikini or something if I wanted to. I know, I'm just trying to justify myself. Um, I always bring my gloves for working out as well. Um, that's just essential. And then also um, from my protein, I obviously take protein shakes every day. But I recently got some like clear whey. I couldn't decide what flavour to choose and it actually worked out cheaper to get like a whole selection of different flavours and little samples. So I'm going to bring a couple of these um, eat for each of us so we can have them after our workout. This is my favourite one, PhD, but this is to remind me to get a few more that I'll do in a minute um, from my drawer. Okay, so that's gym clothes. Um, bikinis, obviously, a staple. I feel like we plan on like working out, then go into the pool and have breakfast, sunbathe, relax, and then maybe go out to do something like exploring-wise, um, see the town, go to the beach, something like that. Um, we need to plan it a bit better. And then in the evening, maybe come back, get ready, go to dinner. So I'm kind of planning like, three outfits a day so like my gym outfit a pool side outfit oh actually and then an out and about outfit and then a dinner outfit four outfits this is completely outrageous i do not need this many outfits but i'm on holiday you know why not and i've bought so many nice and new summer clothes i just want to wear them all um but we'll see how much i can actually fit i do have a cabin suitcase not just a rucksack um, because it just came with my flight because I had British Airways so I'm lucky that way so anyway bikinis you may have seen this haul come up recently um, I tried on a bunch of new bikinis from Shein honestly they're amazing I'm gonna bring this one okay a little bit of spice I am slightly concerned about the tan lines so though <laughs> I feel like this might not be the best idea but it does look really nice and that comes with like a black halter neck and what I planned as like a beach cover up is just this little skirt um, just to basically kind of wear the halter neck as a top and then put the skirt on so I can go to the pool and have breakfast in that outfit and then obviously take the skirt off kind of act in like a sarong and then just chill by the pool and put it on afterwards and come back get changed so that and the black outfit is basically like pool day one Pool day two, I'm thinking this. Um, I'm going for strapless because it would be really good for tan lines. I feel like the whole neck could just like untie it and kind of like just balance the straps down. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. This is also from Shein. Honestly, both Shein bikinis were like £10 for the set. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, 
adding a bit of colour. I really wish I did my nails, but I just didn't have time. So yeah, pool day two, and then I've got just a white sarong that can go over the top. I thought about bringing like a shirt instead, which I'm still kind of debating, like a white shirt. But at the moment, I think I'm going for the sarong. I don't know. I still may change that. So that's pool day two. And then for like going out adventures, um, I'm just going to bring one extra bikini. I really don't need to bring four. Um, and this goes really well underneath some things I'm about to show you. So I'm just going to bring a white basic triangle bikini. This I also showed in a haul recently. This is from uh, ASOS. Voila. I think I bought both things separately, but they are both from ASOS. So that's just like my spare bikini for like probably like beaches and things. So to go with that, I was thinking like as like a going out and about, but with your bikini underneath just in case, I could wear the white bikini and then you kind of like see the straps through this top. I actually just bought this from Zara. Um, it was $22.99 and it's like a silky top. So it can go really fancy, but you can also casual it down with like shorts and like a beach bag. So. I think I'm gonna wear this with the bikini underneath and then a pair of shorts. These are from Topshop, um, but I obviously ordered them from ASOS. I know it's black and white, but you know, what can you do? I have a lot of black and white clothing. Oh, with the pool clothes and possibly that, I think I'm just gonna wear a pair of sandals. These are actually just from Primark. Um, I just wanted some like really cheap and cheerful. <laughs> sandals um just to like take by the pool and like you just leave them there and slide on and off at the beach and stuff um i could also wear my trainers i'm going to wear my trainers on the plane so i'll obviously have a pair of trainers when i get there but yes um this with this and then the brown will tie in with my beach bag which is behind me this is also from primark it was like eight pounds and i'm going to actually use this as like my travel bag as well um, but yeah, it all just looks very beachy. It all goes very well. I've got a little bikini bag. I'm thinking to pack my bikinis in. Just a little extra holiday-esque. I feel like I want one more outfit for like the daytime. I need to decide what that's going to be. But whilst I decide, I thought I would show you the two dresses that I'm packing. Okay, again, two new items from Zara. Couldn't help myself. Um, evening dresses so I'll just start with the first one it is this gorgeous like satin silky dress I'm gonna have to go like really far back to show you uh, basically it just goes right down I insert like a clip so you can see what it looks like on although I did film this last night and it was very dark so I apologize for the lighting but I absolutely love it because like the straps kind of like just go on the front and it's completely backless and it just looks stunning and I think after being like completely exposed to the sun all day I feel like it might be nice to cover my legs and just feel a bit elegant um so this is one dress this was how much was this I need to take the tax this was 35.95 euros I don't know why it says euros but around 35 pounds near enough I am slightly worried about wrinkling it in my suitcase but We'll see how that goes. Um, and then the next one is going to be difficult to show you. Bear with. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so this one is absolutely stunning. So the, it has a halter neck, you tie it, gorgeous beads, and then it has so many like cutouts. And then again, the back is like all exposed. Um, and then it has like a really high waisted like skirt attachment. Again, it goes down, super flowy. It feels like so, it's so flattering and you just feel like very elegant. And this is something you can kind of style up to make it look a bit more classy for the evening. Or you can just pair it with like sandals and a beach bag and it looks like more casual for the daytime. So it's a really good option. And this was actually more expensive. This was $49.99, but I just loved it. Um, I thought it was really versatile and I really like the color. So these are the two dresses that I'm bringing. Sort it. So shoes wise, obviously I'm bringing those sandals and I could, if I wanted to wear those sandals with the green dress, if I want something flat. However, I 
also have these. Look how pretty these shoes are. I am in love. Um, they're just they just look so elegant. Um, they look really good with the first dress. And I feel like I don't know whether to wear them with the other one or not. Uh, but I obviously don't want to bring two pairs of heels. So I think I'm just going to bring these heels. Um, because I have black heels, but I feel like they just look a bit too sharp with the dresses. This is obviously because it's, it's more nude, it blends in more. And then to match, because also I have like a serious lack of handbags. I think I need to do some handbag shopping. Um, I'm going to bring this because I'm feeling kind of holiday, I want to look all fancy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring the sparkly bag to match the sparkly shoes. I feel like I need some sparkly earrings as well, but that is a job for in a moment. Do I need any more shoes? Probably not. I have some other sandals I love and I would really like to bring them for like the daytime. And if they fit, I will bring them. Let me show you. I absolutely adore these shoes. These are from ASOS. I wore them a ton last year. And obviously my daytime outfits are very black and white, so this would go really well. I feel like they could fit. I'm gonna bring them too, why not? And then, yeah, I'm overpacking. Okay, to sleep in, rather than bringing like a matching set of pajamas, I've decided to just bring a t-shirt. This is from the same company as the nudie taupey sports bra and shorts, um, Able. And I just, it's really soft, really cozy. And then, hey, I've got a spare t-shirt if I need it just buy it after sleeping in it um and then i've also just got a pair of shorts these are from gymshark super comfortable perfect to sleep in and then it's like backup clothes if i need it amazing so moving on to electronics so obviously i'm going to bring my phone charger that's still over there i'll pack that tomorrow just before i go i'll make sure i have a full charge before i go to the airport I'm also going to bring my headphones. These are the JBL. Ooh. I don't know what model they are, but honestly, they're amazing. Um, they were like £40. I wear them all the time. I'm not going to bring my big ones. I'm just going to bring these, put them in my travel bag. And then I'm also bringing this portable charger because the flight is four hours and you're obviously waiting a couple hours at the airport. Um, so I feel like I'm going to get through some battery on my phone. So yes, I'll also probably download a film for Netflix and then maybe do some editing, sort out all my photos. I honestly have like 14,000 photos and videos on my phone. I really need to sort it out. Next, um, I don't usually bring appliances, but I feel like my hair is going to be wet and when it dries, it's just not going to look good. So I feel like I'm going to need to just add a few curls and this will just be the best way to do it. Um, this is just a Babyliss Pro stylist tool. I've had this for years. And then I'll just wrap it up in this little heat mat. Squeeze that in. I also have this for fish swimming. I mean, I don't want to ruin my hair, even though it's already ruined, but yeah, this is, this is a look. I'll give these a bit of a clean first, actually. <laughs> but I'm totally bringing those. I feel like I should bring normal goggles because going in the pool, like that's a bit funny to wear in the pool, but so good having the nose when you're in the ocean. Oh, I don't know. I just want to bring a whole suitcase, but it's only two days. Okay, here is my gym drawer. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this drawer. So this is all like my swimming costumes. So yeah, I need to figure out whether to just bring goggles or to bring my actual ones. I think I'm just gonna, I don't know, we're just gonna leave them there for now. Okay, um, I'm gonna wanna bring some crew socks for the plane and then also, oh, for the gym. Oh no, how many socks am I gonna bring? I probably don't need to bring crew socks. They might be too big. Um, okay, I'll bring these for now. If not, I can just wear normal ones for the gym. Okay, here's the protein. So, Mickey Toe's quite nice. I'm gonna go for some raspberry lemonade flavor. That's really nice. Summer kiwi. Oh, I've just decided apple is not good. 
I'm not going to bring them. And I'll maybe I'll bring two peaches. Okay. So I'm going to bring two for... Two for Saturday, two for Sunday. One for me, one for my friend. Cool. Also, also probably bring some underwear, which I maybe I'll do without you. Okay, I've just about managed to pack all three bikinis in this bag. Perfect. That can just go straight in. Okay. Day one. Day two. I think I'm going to put my dresses at the top, um, but tomorrow, so they don't get all wrinkly. Okay, pool cover-ups. This is Zara, anyone? So this was like last year, so it's probably not around. Pool cover-up. I'm going to bring my handbag. Um, to save space, I should probably put something inside it, but I think I'm going to. I might just pack it in between my shorts to protect it. Shoes. I feel like I should put these in a bag. I'm going to put these in each other. On top. Oh, I have so much space. I have not got anything to worry about. So I'm putting all my gym stuff in here. So my protein shakes and my gloves. And then my gym clothes I'll just throw in. <laughs> Here, okay, pajamas. I'm gonna put that kind of on top because I'm gonna need that like straight away when I get there. Shorts. Oh, I have this as well. Oh, I have so much space. quite ready to put everything in my hand luggage, um, like my carry-on bag, but I am going to make sure I bring a pen for postcard for Kellis. Um, headphones, I'm going to just charge this and this a little bit extra before I pack it. So I'll do that in a moment. Um, this is the book I'm choosing to take with me. I'm very excited to read this. Uh, my friend, we did a little book swap, so... I'm finally reading it, if you're watching. And then, <laughs> I've got my normal glasses, um, which are new, by the way. Yes, for those who don't know, I need glasses to see far away, but if I'm like reading or on my phone for a long time, I also wear them. Um, so yeah, these are the glasses. I'm gonna bring these mainly for like the plane and stuff. So I'm bringing those. I'm going to bring my Ray-Bans. These are the Jack glasses, I believe. Yep, so I'm bringing those. And then I also have some prescribed sunglasses. So I'm also going to bring these so I can read by the pool. Oh yes, I can see so well. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm just going to bring those three. Quite a lot, but three pairs of glasses. Should I bring this? I'll put this in my suitcase. I don't need that in my travel on. Oh, I'm gonna bring fluffy socks because I just love having fluffy socks on a plane. And then I also have some tissues because you never know. Passport. I have some spare euros still. It's like fish euros, I presume so. I haven't even checked. Um, and then my passport. I actually love this case, by the way. I love it. And it has the lovely elasticated thing, <laughs> which matches. So yes, that can go in here. This might bring a little hairbrush. Why not? Right. So I want to bring a hair clip. Um, I also might bring the one in Rome because it's super colourful. But I know I definitely want to bring this one. Um, I'm just going to like clip it onto my bag because I don't want to break it. And let's charge this, wash this, iron that shirt. I'm going to do that now. So just ignore the state of my room behind me, but I'm about to put um, some perfume into my travel one. 
So this is the Saint Laurent Libre, um, which is free in Spanish. Let me just pull it up. Okay, I was hoping this would be a lot smoother. What is going on? I'm pretty sure you like you pull this up. This, uh, there we go. Which is very slippery. And then at the bottom here, you connect it and just, just pump. Can I show you? Is this going to be easy? <laughs> Can you see that? I'm not going to show you the whole thing because that will just take forever. But this is my absolute favourite perfume, although I used to have the Gucci Flora and I recently like just smelt it again and I do miss it so I think I'm going to have to get it again because I don't need more than just one perfume. Okay, here we go. Full. Let's just test that it works. Yes. Oh, that's great. Cool. Perfume done. That makes me extremely happy. <laughs> so I pretty much packed my makeup and toiletries. I thought I'd just show you. Um, I still can fit more if I need to which I'm probably going to add a few things, we'll see. But what I have is, I'm bringing my face um, sun cream. What I'm going to do is just buy some after sun and sun cream at the airport because I'm just going to absolutely lather myself in sun cream for the weekend. So um, yeah, I'm not going to try and bring little mini ones. I'm just going to buy a whole size. Um, but this is like specially designed for my face. Also thought about bringing some hand sanitizer because travel and all. Um, I have eyeliner, this is the L'Oreal Perfect Slim, um, you probably can't see that, Perfect Slim Eyeliner. I'm also bringing my Charlotte Tilbury Highlighter, this is Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. I am slightly worried though that it's going to explode on a plane, every time I travel it always just like explodes everywhere but it's just so good so I'm going to bring it anyway. Um, but I'm also bringing a powdered highlighter but that's going to be in my other bag. I'm also bringing some Hydrochloric Acid Aqua Booster Serum. Um, this is by the 111 Skin brand. That's, how much is that? 20 milliliters, perfect. So normally I just put this on at night and I have a different one in the morning, but I'm just gonna use this the whole weekend so I don't have to bring multiple. Um, I'm also bringing my mini Wild Deodorant. Um, I feel like this doesn't need to be my liquid bag. So I might just pack that in my other one because it's not liquid. I don't know. Um, I'm also bringing my inhaler stick because the rain and the weather lately, I'm starting to get ill. I think I'm gonna get some cold and flu medicine, but just in case, I'm gonna bring this. Um, I'm also just bringing a lip gloss. This is Charlotte Tilbury in Refresh Rose, just for the evenings. And then a lip balm for the day. I didn't have time to get a SPF one, so I'm pretty just like cover my lips and SPF anyway. Um, but this is the Paw Paw Shimmer Balm. So you can actually use this kind of like as a highlighter as well. So let's give it a go. Does that do anything? I don't know. But it's very um, hydrating. And it's like a subtle gloss, but also hydrating. So yeah, that. My Lasting Collection Concealer, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> I don't think I'm going to bring a foundation because I don't really wear foundation. Um, and I'm hoping to get super tanned, so my, my foundation won't match anyway. Um, and this is, I'm going to bring this travel um, face wash, this is my face gem. It's not the one I normally use, but it's a travel size, so I'm just going to bring that for the weekend. And then, again, I don't really think this is a liquid. It's like a, more like a wax, um, but it's the Cabral. Yeah, Benefit Cabral pomade. And then I'm bringing the mini Benefit They're Real Magnet Mascara. Again, I don't like wearing mascara, never really wear it, but for the evenings, I might. And now, obviously, my perfume. I decided not to bring toothpaste, and I'm just going to steal my friend's toothpaste so that I don't have to bring it. Okay, in here, so this is like my Miss Aiken filthy travel bag. But we have 
eyelash curlers, a little curling wide tooth comb, eyeshadow brush, double end, which I, add the, um, I add the glitter shadow with this and I just blend it all out with here. I've got my Natasha Denona palette. Um, as you can tell, this is my favourite. <laughs> Still going strong though, so I'm going to take that. Just that's the only palette I need. And then obviously I have my eyeliner. Um, and then again, I have too many Benefit products. Um, honestly, these Benefit products just help me out so much in my travel. So I've got the Hoola bronzer and then the Georgia blush. I love this blush because it's like a shimmery, golden kind of colour. Um, so yeah, this, and then I'm just going to use the same brush for both because I'm gross and it's easy. I also have a random brush um, that I could use for concealer, but I think I'm going to bring my um, Real Technique sponge. I'm just giving it a final wash and it will dry and I'll pack it tomorrow. And then I have tweezers and flossing stick because you never know. And then I guess I can put my toothbrush in here as well. Not bringing my electric toothbrush, I just bring this one, which doesn't really fit in this tiny bag. Okay, I'm getting there. Okay, I am going to show you the final everything, um, and especially when I finish packing my travel um, big handbag. But before that happens, um, I just remind you to subscribe because um, there's lots of holidays coming up and I'm going to definitely film what I wore on holiday for my other two holidays because they're like a week long and I'm going to have so many outfits. I will also vlog those trips um, and then I will do packing videos for them as well because I feel like it's quite fun. I feel like I'm packing with someone. Um, oh, I need to pack jewellery. Huh. I might just wear it all on the plane so then I don't have to pack it. <laughs> Realistically, I'm going to bring like a little bracelet, my gold watch, these hoops, maybe just leave this set in. I need some silver ring, uh, I need some silver earrings for my sparkly shoes combo. Okay, I still have some work to do. Okay, I'm about to go, I thought I would just show you and put my charger in. This is now like my gadget bag and a couple of things I'm going to put inside of here just to keep it all together. I've swapped out a couple of things that I'll probably show you when I get there. And I have my shoes on. I'm so bad, but I'm just wearing this as my plain outfit. And then I have a hoodie, sweatshirt. Let's go. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking.